Hello, my name is Kevin Zollinger. I'm with the Journey Team Collaboration and Content Management Team. Today I'd like to walk you through the new Teams preview. There are some things that I'm excited about and some things that, well, I might have to get used to. Let's take a look at the list of the big ticket items. First of all, it's available starting on 27th of March. It is available to commercial customers only. If you're an education customer, a government customer, or if you're on an Apple Mac or on VDI, it's not available. It's also not available on the web. This is only available as a desktop client. The rollout should be completed by April 3rd. The big news flash is that the new Teams preview has moved from HTML and CSS and Angular using the Electron platform to Fluent and React on WebView 2. Fluent, React, and WebView are all much faster, much cooler. It's, it's huge. Because of that, it is two times as fast to load, two times as fast to connect to a meeting. There are other things that it does that are equally fast, and it does that with 50% less memory and hard drive usage. Those are all amazing. I have to tell you, I've been using it since Monday for a week, and it's just fast. For the speed alone, I would be excited about it. It has improved integration with Microsoft Loop and support for avatars. And they're making a big noise about avatars because we are all spending a lot of time in these team meetings where we just sit in front of a camera all day long and people are getting tired. The idea behind an avatar is it will allow you to put on your game face with somebody else doing all the work to keep the game face up and running and let you relax and be you behind that camera. I'm excited to see what it looks like. They say it's out soon for some and coming soon for the rest of us. The thing that I'm the most excited about other than the speed improvements is what it does with multi-tenant operations and we're going to show you that. Finally, it's not really a completed product, but you can switch back and forth as needed. So I'm going to move over there so that we can look at the notifications as they pop up. Let's go to work. Okay, so now that I've moved sides, this is the old version of Teams. I want you to notice this area right here, there's no indication that I might have any kind of a message from a different tenant. That's important. To change from the old to the new, all I do is click this button. Now, having said that, your administrators will have to turn it on for your tenant before you can do that. There's no reason for them not to, but but that has to happen first. So here I am back in that same chat view, but look up here in the right hand corner. It's telling me that I have three things happening in another tenant where I'm either a guest or have an identity. If I click that, it tells me that I've been mentioned here and that there's been a channel message here. That's super cool. The, uh, the other stuff we'll talk about first, then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna change tenants and see what that looks like. So chat is about the same in the new tenant, but there are some big changes in the channel. And in fact, I'm going to change my mind. Let's go and change to this tenant right here. This is a demo tenant that I have set up. And that is it. I have now changed. I'm now in this demo tenant and everything is new. And you saw how quick that happened. That is a huge improvement over the old version. So in my channels, you will look at the, the times here. This is 4.14, that's 11.13. You can see that the older stuff is at the bottom, the new stuff is at the top. I'm not sure I like that. It's gonna take some getting used to. No point in going back because it's not adjustable. That's just the way that it is. What I do like is at the top now, if I start a new post, it's gonna ask me for a subject every time. It used to be that you had to do some extra work to get that subject. It's also got all of this text editing tooling at the top, that didn't used to be there either. So both of those make it much easier to start a message and away I go. Another thing that I really like is if this was an important thread and I really wanted to keep track of it, I can click these three dots right here and pop out that conversation. We've been able to do that in chats for a long time. This is new to channel messages and I, I just, I, I can't talk because I'm so excited. There are certain threads that we really want to pay attention to. This will let us take those threads and put us somewhere where they're always open 
and where the other stuff that we do in teams doesn't get in the way, I think it's phenomenal. I'm super excited about it. So now let's look at those notifications. If I click this notification and I go here, it's again going to again change tenants and here I am in this new tenant and you can see the message in question. That is cool. It used to be that changing from one tenant to another involved a lot more work and took a lot more time. It's a lot easier than it used to be, but it gets even better. Let's go to this old Teams version and this is the web version and it's the old version and so the, the channel messages are down at the bottom and if I do a new conversation I don't get any of the other fancy stuff and I don't get a title line but this is a new message okay and when I click send you're gonna see down here in this corner a toast message pop up a toast notification pop up that will be from the new Teams client and it's going to tell me that something in a tenant other than mine has happened. That is super cool. Let's give it a minute. There it is. It used to be that when stuff happened in a tenant other than my own, I might not know about it for hours. This has an immediate notification built in. It's going to make me much more responsive when things happen in tenants that are mine. That there alone is worth the price of the new upgrade, which is to say the time to download and do the install and talk your administrators into turning the flag on in your tenant so that you can do that. Those are the big changes in the preview version. I will say that it's not perfect. It does some things well and some things less well. Uh, we've had pictures show up upside down as people are in, uh, in Teams meetings on occasion. Um, and all of your applications may not show here like they used to, but it is wicked fast. And the cross-tenant collaboration improvements that they've made, wow, I'm super excited about it. As always, if there's something that you'd like us to help you with, reach out. We're at journeyteam.com. There's a bunch of folks here that are more than willing to help you figure out your collaboration and content management challenges and watch for another Office PDQ soon as well as updates just like this one at journeyteam.com. Thanks for your time and have a great day.